It's really important to learn how to intelligently shop for a mortgage. I wrote a book called The Mortgage Code and we'll do a draw for one later. Um, but we talk a lot about People think that shopping for mortgages are about interest rates when it's really the other concepts that are more important. Um, lenders know that we have so much going on in life that look at something really easy to market to us to and generally that's the interest rate. But the most important thing is actually the penalty that is applied to your mortgage that they will charge you should you need to make a modification. The second being the terms, the third being the interest rate and the fourth is actually the, the history of the lender. So penalties for breaking a mortgage, most of us, seven out of 10 of us will break their mortgage before the end of the term because we'll need to move, we'll get transferred somewhere, we'll hate our neighbors, we'll break up with a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife. And so with that in mind, the lenders know that. <coughs> And when they are marketing to you, they're selling what's so great about them. And they're trying to get you to focus on things like uh, get a mortgage with us and get a free iPad or get a mortgage with us and get free checking for two years, which sounds really awesome. But what they're not telling you is how they're marketing to you. So if you go there, some of you probably already have a bank account set up. Do you guys have a bank account? Yeah. So one day, if you were going to get a mortgage, that bank would come to you and say, oh my goodness, you've had your bank account here since you were six years old. You are an absolute king to us. We're going to give you 2% off the posted rate and a free iPad and free checking. And you're going to think, that's more like it. That's exactly what I thought. Way to go. But what they're not telling you is that they know that seven out of 10 of us are going to break that mortgage before the term because of reasons un foreseen at that time and they're going to make their money off of you when you go to break it and they're not going to tell you that they invest in other companies that only give way way better terms than them because they're competing with themselves and it's up to us collectively being you the individual to understand how the market works for you and they see it as the borrower's fault for not knowing better so that's why in our position we get to be unbiased and tell you what the difference is between the two of them so if you go to a big bank, look, the interest rates look the same. They're so good. Oh my goodness. The payment's the same. But if you break that uh, mortgage at 36 months, we've broken down the principal and interest. And if you go to the next slide, we'll just show the difference. So with the big bank, they're using that posted rate that they gave you as a discount from for being so special and having a bank account there for 20 years. Um, but the difference in the remaining balance is $14,000, which is almost half of what you contributed to your principal amount in the last three years. So that penalty would absorb half of that. So you can see the penalty with the big bank is $15,000 to get out of compared to $1,200 with a lender that you have access to by knowing better to use a mortgage broker for what they're there for. So right away you've left here today knowing how to save $14,000 almost on your first purchase and use that money to move up the property ladder, buy a car, do whatever, anything but pay interest to a bank who's just marketing things to you, right?